All right, here we go with another video. This one is going to be about compact bone. Um, one of the things that we need to back up and understand is what we're looking at, for goodness sake, because, I mean, I'm looking at this thing, and really, honestly, I'm thinking about um, some, uh, some pie or something like that. This is pretending to be a wedge of compact bone. Literally, what they've done is they've gone in, They've taken a wedge of your humerus or your femur, some part of compact bone. This is very micro sized and they've blown it up into a macro scale model so that you can see what individual sections of compact bone look like in your body. Now, really quickly, you have to remember that bone is also known as osseous tissue. It's in one of the four major classifications of tissue. Bone falls under the classification of connective tissue. So remember, there are three things about connective tissue that you always have to remember so that you can be able to name them on test and be able to identify them. First thing is that connective tissue always has specialized cells. Number two, it's always got some type of unique extracellular matrix. In other words, what the cells and everything is suspended in. And number three, it's always got some kind of specialized uh, protein fiber. So for compact bone, uh, the extracellular matrix is very dense, very hard. Um, it's made up of a lot of minerals. Number two, the specialized cells in this particular model are going to be the osteocytes, which are these little brown specks that you see here. And then, of course, the protein fibers that are involved are known as collagen fibers. This model, what it attempts to do is it tries to get you to understand the organization of the bone tissue, specifically compact bone tissue. What we're looking at right now is an osteon. We're looking at this thing right here. This is an osteon. And what they did was they took all the concentric rings and stacked them on top of one another. Really, all of your osteons look more like this. If you've ever seen a paper towel roll, then you've seen an osteon. Every sheet of the paper towel that wraps around the core of that paper towel roll, every sheet would be a ring of bone tissue. So here's the osteon. You can kind of look at them and you can see where it looks like we took a paper towel roll and then cut that paper towel roll in half. The same with this one and the same with this one. Looks like they took a paper towel roll and just cut them in half. It's the same as these guys in the background. These are called osteons. O-S-T-E-O-N-S, -E osteons. Now, an osteon is the, the uh, primary unit for compact bone. And with this osteon, what we have are osteocytes. Osteo means bone, site means cell. These osteocytes are manager cells. What they do is they manage the tissue. So they manage uh, the damage that's been done, they manage the stress, they manage the nutrient absorption, they manage uh, mineral uh, deposits, all of that. And these little cells all have their own little hotel rooms. And these hotel rooms are called lacunae. Lacunae or lacuna is singular, lacunae is plural. Lacunae actually means little rooms. So the bone cells, osteocytes, check into little lacunae. The hallways, however, of this hotel are round. That's why they say that they're in concentric circles. They're round hallways. And each hallway that you see with these rooms in it is known as a lamellae. It's a, it's a layer of lamellae, which lamellae is nothing more than a layer of bone tissue. So each hallway or each ring, just like looking at a tree with rings on it, I know you guys have seen those Reading Rainbow episodes from back in the day where they were talking about trees and looking at the rings. These concentric rings are the hallways in the hotel, and these concentric rings are known as lamellae. So we've got the cells. Those are the osteocytes. They're inside their little small rooms, which are called lacunae, and those rooms are in circular or concentric ringed shaped hallways known as lamellae. And last but not least is the spot in the middle. The spot in the middle is what's called a central canal. And the central canal contains blood vessels which bring nutrients to all of the cells. So think of the, concentric, uh, think of the central canal as the elevator 
the service elevator that brings nutrients up and take waste products down and make sure that nutrients get to all the cells on every floor of the Osteon Hotel. We're out.